be the sixth part of our Java Central Training Series. So this is video about IntelliJ IDEA. I had to create a project in that. And we're going to go and make our Hello World program. So whether you learn any programming language in school, college, anywhere, first program is going to be Hello World. So in this video, I'll show you how to create a project in IntelliJ IDEA. And I will explain Hello World program. So that's being said, let's get started. I'll click create new project. I'll choose Java as a tab of the project and I'll set my project SDK to 1.8. The SDK that I defined when I installed IntelliJ IDEA. I'll click next and on the, on the screen I will select the option to create a project from a template. Command line app. That will create a class that has a main method just like Java class I created previously. On this screen I will set the name of the project to Hello World and then I will change the project location. I will rush to my desktop and I will create a new folder and click OK. And then I will append the name of the project Hello World to the folder which are root folder of the project. Next I will set the base package. I will use the same package that I used previously com.example.java When you do this through IntelliJ IDEA, you will add this base package declaration to the Java code, but you will also create an equivalent folder hierarchy to store the class. And then I will click finish to create a project. I'm told that this project file directly doesn't exist. I will click OK to create it and then create Java code. Now if this is the first time you have done this in IntelliJ IDEA, your display won't look exactly like me. Down at the bottom of the screen, you will see a message saying indexing and you will need to wait until that complete before you follow along with the next step. But when the setup process is complete, you should see the display with the project window on the left and on the edit and the editor on the right. I'm going to maximize this window so we can see more clearly. You will also notice that I have line number being displayed on the left. Alright guys, so I've cleared everything here in the project. So I'm going to start a project now. First of all, what you have to do is define a package. So type package com.example.java. So what is this basically? When you were creating a project in IntelliJ IDEA, you defined the base package. So it's going to end with a semicolon, right? So I'm going to show you what that means basically. So if you go to your project folder, hello world, and in the source, there's a folder com example and java in that java there's a class main.java because i debugged my program before that's why it has created a main class okay so let's go back to our intelligent idea now so this is how you define a package to declare a java class start with the keyword public that's called an access modifier. It means the class I'm about to declare is available to entire application. Then add the keyword class and then the name of the class, which I will simply call a main with an uppercase M. All Java class names should start with the uppercase initial character. Next, add a code block consisting a pair of braces. In most Java coding examples, you will see the opening braces appear on the same line as the preceding keyword. And then the closing braces should go down to the next line and can align with the first keyword such as public. Now anything I declare inside the core block will be a part of the class. To run the class from the console, I need a method called main. And there are a few keywords I need first. The first, the keyword public, which again is an access modifier. And the keyword static, that's a keyword that means that is a member of a class that can be called from a class itself as opposed to an instance of the class if that doesn't make sense don't worry i'll talk a lot more i'll talk a lot more about it in the later videos and then the keyword white which means this method won't return any value and finally the name of the method main this is required method name all method names should start with the initial lowercase character and that's how you can distinguish the identifier says of the class name main and a method named main. The name of the method and its arguments make up this method signature and the required main method signature receives an array of string values. We'll declare an array of strings with the keyword string with an uppercase 
S. That means it's a class identifier followed by the pair of brackets. And that means there's more than one string, it's an array. The name of its arguments can really be anything you like, but it's typically named arg. I will add a closing parenthesis to the end of the method signature, and then I will add another code block, and I will fix the tabulation to show where the method start and it ends. Now I will add a single line code here. Just type system dot out dot print ln with a pair of parentheses add a double quote and then I'm gonna type hello world from always okay and at the end you need to type a semicolon every statement in Java will finish with the semicolon right so now I'm gonna show you how to debug this program and run it so let's go to a build and click on make project which will debug this project and now we need to run it you can go to run menu and click on run menu or you can just simply click here okay as you can see that down here we got our uh, program it's basically that uh, statement basically what it did it printed that hello world from a vice if I change this, oops, I made a mistake here. So I'll run that again. Now I will change that to hello world from always. So on the left, you got your packages view, right? So if you click here, you can change that to project view, basically, which give you more um, information about your project. Let's go to our project files. And here you got everything, including your file, including the IML file, which is, which has a lot of information about um, IntelliJ IDEA project. Most of the time in this um, course, I'll be working in package, access the package folder directly. So I don't have to see a lot of folders here. All right. So thanks for watching guys. This was a quick um, getting started video with Java in IntelliJ IDEA. Stay tuned for the next video. will be coming up soon. Thanks for watching and I'll talk to you guys in the next video. And don't forget to subscribe.